Hello, this is Candace with MySpockLife.com. Thank you for joining our Good Book series. Today, our book is Fresh Off the Boat by author Eddie Hong. I loved this book. This book was just so entertaining, informational, and just interesting to read on so many levels. One, I enjoy knowing about the life of immigrants who come and live in the United States of America. Actually, Eddie Hong was born here in the U.S., but his parents were immigrants from China by the way of Taiwan. And um, he talked about what it was like growing up in a predominantly white neighborhood, how his family got um, adjusted um, living here in the United States and what the experience was for him as a Chinese American and also as a young person trying to fit in in a community where he did not look anything like the people around him. It helped me understand, number one, the influence and the attraction of hip-hop to people who don't feel like they fit in. I've heard a lot about it. I've tried to understand it on so many times and occasions. What is the attraction of hip-hop? Because I am personally not a fan. But reading his book, it just made so much sense. It spoke to him and it helped him feel like he belonged. And for other young men, in his neighborhood who were also trying to find themselves. It was the common factor, the common denominator, and also basketball. I could not play basketball to save my life. But listening to Eddie talk about basketball, it just, it just made me want to go out there and put on some Air Jordans like he was talking about um, and just go out there and try to shoot some hoops which I could never do. Uh, it was just such a good book. Now Eddie, he does have a raw mouth. Uh, you know, his his language is it's very, very much that of people on the street and normally that might be a little offensive for me but reading it, it was perfect. It was perfect for what he was talking about, for conveying his emotions, for putting into perspective some of the ways that he was treated by these people who had absolutely no idea what it was like to come from a different culture and they weren't interested. Now, I loved the book. There's so much more I could talk about it and so much more that I could say about it. But I know one thing, I wish I knew when I was in New York City that he had Bauhaus. I would have gone to the East Village with that intent to find Bauhaus. However, when I went to the East Village, I didn't know that there was a such thing as an Eddie Hong. Now I'm a fan. Next time in New York, I'm stopping by your restaurant, man, and I'm gonna try some of those bows because that's one of my favorite things to eat. And everybody else, pick up the book. You will love it. You will absolutely love it.